All right, so in this week's MicroStrategy video, I'm going to be showing you how to create fact extensions. Coming up. All right, so today we're going to be talking about fact extensions. Um, now, the table I have up here on the screen, this is the table where our data is going to be coming from. Um, and as you can see, the only attributes on this table are item, month, and then the fact is units received. Okay. Now the situation is this. We only have units received by month and item. Okay. That's the only level that we have this metric at. Okay. However, our users would like to see this at the day level. Right? But it only exists in the data warehouse in this table that we're looking at at the month level. So how can we do that? Right? And, and we're going to assume our users are okay with us assuming 30 days in a month and just averaging it out. Uh, by, by day, right? So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I want to show you is what happens when we attempt to run a report at a level that does not exist. So here I have a simple report I've already created, okay, and it's got, it simply just has month, item, and units received, okay, and I'm also doing a filter for a specific month, but let's go ahead and run this. Okay, simple. Month, the item, and how much, how many units we receive that month. But let's go ahead and add day to this. Okay, and let's see what happens. Let's let's see what the results are. So we'll go ahead and we'll add day to this report, and we'll run it. And as you can see, the report fails. It says fact does not exist at a level that can support the requested analysis. Right. That's because on the table I showed you, it only has this this fact at the month level, month and item. Okay. So now let's go ahead and create our fact extension so that we can then run this report at the day level. So you know what we'll do? We'll go ahead and we'll save this. We'll save as. And we'll give it a name, monthly receipts uh, by day. Oops. By day. Okay. that okay great now what we're gonna do is this is our fact here monthly units received let's go ahead and edit this okay and then what we'll do is you want to choose the tab that says extensions so we'll click that tab and we'll click new to create a new fact extension so we'll click next okay and we'll call this degrade oops, degrade to day now, we want to lower this, right? We know it exists at month, at the month level. We want to lower it to the day level. So we'll choose this option here, lower the fact entry level. We'll click next. Now, what attributes would you like to lower to? We want to lower it to the day level. So we'll choose the day attribute and we'll click next. Now, this option here is select the attributes you would like to use to perform the join. Well, we know that this fact exists at the month level. So then that's the attribute we will choose here. So we'll come down we'll and we'll select month and we'll click next. Now, this part here, right, at which level do you want to join the attributes, right? So there's two options here, attribute or attribute and children. We'll just leave it at attribute because day is the lowest level in the time hierarchy. We can just leave it at attribute. But if there were, if there was other attributes below day and you wanted to allow it to include every attribute under that level, right? You would choose attribute and children, okay? So if, like I said, if there was something below day, right, if this was a different type of hierarchy, you and you wanted to allow it to join to those lower levels, you would choose attribute and children. But in this case, day is the lowest level, we'll just leave it as is and click next. Okay, now here is where you can specify the expression to use, um, right? It needs to know, okay, if I'm gonna join to the day level, what do I do with the data, right? How, how do I transform the data to make sense? Okay, so this is where we'll specify our allocation expression. Okay, so we'll check this box. Okay, and we're just going to divide by 30, right? We're going to assume 30 days in a month and just divide by 30. We're going to assume that that's okay in this case. Okay, so we will enter, um, let's call it units received. And then we will click divided by 30, 
Okay, we'll validate that expression. Okay, and we'll confirm the fact we want to use is indeed units received monthly. We'll click OK. And our expression is valid. We'll click Next, and then we'll click Finish. And now we will save and close for this fact. Okay, great. Now, now because we modified the schema, we will also have to refresh the schema or do a schema update. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and run our monthly receipts by day report. And let's see what the results are we get now are. Okay. And as you can see, our report now returns results by day. Okay. So that was now successful. This report now runs successfully, whereas previously it failed. And it's just dividing by our 30 days in a month. And now let's take a look at the SQL so you can see that it is in fact applying our expression. So we'll go view SQL. And if you look at this statement here, you can see it's taking units received divided by 30. Okay? So that is where it is applying the expression we entered in our fact degradation. Now there are other scenarios in which you can use um, fact extensions, right? You can degrade it, you can extend it. Um, this is probably a good good example to start with just to get an idea for how it works. This is a, a very simple example. Um, maybe in the future I'll make other videos showing you some other use cases for this. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.